Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Greetings, friends. Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby. Today is Thursday, June 8th, and today I'd like to talk about our call to prayer. But first, let's pray together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Oh Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father this month, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. All right, so friends, we know that we're in ordinary time. And again, this is a gift given to us, this liturgical season by the church in order for us to examine our discipleship. And we are invited to recommit ourselves to the Lord Jesus, recommit ourselves to a deeper discipleship. So we know there are certain marks drawn from the life of our Lord, drawn from the Acts of the Apostles that indicate this way. What does the way of the Lord look like? And we know that the way of the Lord is a way of worship. And today I want to talk about that the way is also a way of prayer. Dear friends, as Christians, we have to pray. Now, obviously, you understand that because you're doing these morning offerings, but we also have to allow prayer to be throughout our day. We know that prayer is when we converse with God, when we speak to Him, when we listen to Him. Prayer, in its essence, is about being with God. When we're with God, His grace transforms us. We think, we look at things differently. We approach life differently. Someone can be really angry and say, I'll never forgive that person. They go to prayer, they spend time with God, and then suddenly they find the strength to forgive someone, to give that mercy that they didn't think they could do before because prayer changes us. We have to remember that when we go to prayer, it's not because we're trying to change God. <laughs> we go to prayer in order to change ourselves, to allow God's grace to transform us and change us. So prayer is very important. You know, the Catechism of the Catholic Church, quoting St. Alphonsus of Gori, says that those who do not pray are not saved. And the reason why is because if we're not comfortable being with God in this life in prayer, we're not going to be comfortable being with God forever and eternity in heaven. So we have to really work on our life of prayer. The Lord Jesus was a man of prayer. In the evenings, in the mornings, at pivotal times in his ministry, he was a man of prayer. Our forebears were people of prayer. As Christians, we are called to be a people of prayer. So examine your life right now of prayer. Where are, where are you? Where do you stand? Are you taking it seriously? Do you understand how fundamental and essential it is to the way of the Lord Jesus? And I encourage you, however it might be, to make new co- commitments or to go deeper in your commitments in order to be a person of prayer. Those are our thoughts for today, dear friends. I want to thank you for joining me. I encourage you keep fighting a good fight. And remember, you can have daily spiritual encouragement sent right to your inbox whenever you subscribe to morningoffering.com. God bless you. The Morning Offering with Father Kirby is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.